Hello Core Engineering family, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important wall that is used whenever the accuracy is required, one of the most important wall that is used in the instrumentation system that is needle wall. In this video we are going to discuss about the what is needle wall, application of the needle wall, types of needle wall that is used in a industry. Then we will discuss about the construction of the needle wall, advantages and disadvantages of the needle wall, right? And along with that, we will also discuss about the what working of the needle wall. So let's start the video with what is needle wall, right? So if you are new in our YouTube channel, please subscribe our YouTube channel, press the bell icon so that you could get the latest notification of our all videos, right? We have already made the playlist of the instrumentation engineering as well as the industrial walls. So if you haven't watched that videos, please watch that videos because that videos are also very, very important for you because there we have already discussed about the gate wall, glove wall, ball wall, plug wall, piston wall, diaphragm wall. There are so many other walls also we have discussed, right? So. What is a needle wall basically as the name consists needle right and wall wall which is used to regulate the flow right it means that needle wall will also regulate the flow or obstruct the flow. So now if I talk about the needle wall needle wall is also known as the plunger wall. What is the meaning of it plunger okay there is the one word if you know about this word plunger and if you know the word needle then I hope there will be in your mind there will be one question that what is the interconnection between that I'll tell you but first of all just understand that needle walls are also known as the your plunger wall if you will see here the picture of the needle wall so this is your needle the stem tip we I have written here actually this is your plunger or needle you can say which is actually obstruct the flow right in the gate wall there will be disc right in the gate wall there will be disc like that something okay which will be go upward and downward whenever you have to open or close it same in the case of the needle wall there is the needle like instead of disc there is the needle or plunger you can say which will go upward and downward right and it is a type of the linear motion wall can you please let me in the comments box what is the meaning of the linear motion wall? Please let me in the comments box that whenever you will open or close it how the flow will go. Okay means what, what will be the relation between the opening and the flow. Are you getting my point what I want to say? Please explain it because here is written that it is a linear type of the linear motion type of the wall right. And it is used for the precisely control the flow of clean fluid and gases even like air as well and oil as well in the case of the oil as well we use it and for measuring the flow in a line. So mainly needle wall is used where where we want to accurately measure the flow okay and where we want the accuracy let's suppose in the case of the instrumentation system we use the needle wall okay because that time actually we want there the accuracy if accuracy will not be there so instrumentation system or your instrument system will not show you the reading properly and because of that there could be a severe damage there could be the shutdown right that's why the needle wall is used where precisely measurement is required or the accuracy is met right now let's talk about the construction of the needle wall that is also very very important construction because if you will understand the construction and after that we will discuss about the types of the your needle wall. So first of all there is the handle with, uh, with the help of that handle we open or close the needle wall right. So when you will move it anti-clockwise that time it will open that time it will open and when you will rotate it clockwise then it will that time it will close right this is your stem this is the stem packing which is mainly used to prevent the leakage right then this is the packing nut okay panel mounting nut is this one main and this is your bonnet 
this is the body and you can say the because in the wall there will be the body outer body which we can say okay and this is the internal part that is the stem this is the stem pit you can say or the disc you can also say the disc of the needle wall or you can also say this is your needle this is your needle or disc and it will be your seat here okay where this needle will be placed so when the fluid will come from here so what will happen that right now it is closed right because it is placed at the seat but when you will rotate it anti clockwise so it will go upward that's why i am saying that this is the plunger type so what will happen that your fluid will go like that right so this is the construction of the needle wall means there is the handle stem is there which will go upward and forward because of that your wall will be open or closed stem packing is we are using to prevent the flow from the leakage right packing nut is there like body is there okay these are the very basic terms in the needle wall which we must know right and you also must know the overview of the needle wall okay so now let's discuss about the working of the needle wall okay so let's discuss about the working of the needle wall how the needle wall works so if i talk about the working of the needle wall what will happen that right now this wall is in closed condition this wall is in closed condition how do you know that because from the picture i am getting that it is placed at the seat of the needle wall so now when the fluid is coming from here so what is happening that right now fluid is here right your fluid is here right now so now what will happen that you will rotate it anti clockwise when you will rotate it anti clockwise so what will happen that your wall your stem will go upward okay so as your stem will go upward what will happen that there will here the passage will become okay so as the passage will become what will happen that your fluid will go from here okay from here to here like that so that's how the needle wall works very simple you what you have to do only anti clockwise and clockwise action you must know that time okay because sometimes what happens that like let's suppose the there is not the voice okay in like if we are working in a plant and someone say you just open the wall and you do not know so that time we use the sign methodology we use the sign or hand sign methodology that uh, please open the wall right and that time you have to open the wall very soon you have to open the wall as soon as possible okay if you are just confused at how i open the needle wall so that may be a confusing and that may be a time consuming for you that is not good in the industry so you must have the clarity that how to open or close the any types of the wall right so that's how the needle wall work now if i talk about the types of the needle wall so mainly there are three types of the needle wall which i have seen in industry the first one is a manually operated threaded needle wall this type of the wall is a manually operated threaded needle wall which you can see in a like uh, in your air pipeline you will see this type of the wall you can see the instrumentation system also we use the this type of the wall where we manually operate the flow right also the in the steam or airline also we see that this type of the wall even in the air uh, in the oil line also i have seen this type of the needle wall where the accuracy matters okay sometimes we use the motorized needle wall what happens there there is the motor is installed okay instead of the this handle okay so what happen motor you can say or the this is the your electric motor or electric actuator or pneumatic actuator which gives the signal or with the help of the that you operate your needle wall right sometimes this type of the wall is also used okay that is also very very important part in our industry and the last type of the needle wall is a angle needle wall so here is nothing actually this is your angle wall so simply it will you use for the angle okay like let's suppose the fluid inlet from here and outlet outlet from here so the wall rotation is 90 degree and 60 degree for throttling that walls are also very very used whenever the flow rate flow rotation is there okay and that's why we use this type of the angle wall for the accuracy purpose right 
so these are the types of the needle wall which mainly we see in, see in our industry right and these types of the wall mainly i see that uh, we do not like uh, want to know more about it because these needle walls has the very like limited application okay like uh, glow wall gate wall that are the very wide application walls but the needle walls are very important wall okay whenever you want the accuracy whenever you are dealing with the instrumentation system you must know about the needle wall right so if we talk about the application of the needle wall so the some application which i know that is the the first application is that it is used to protect the gauges or the instrumentation system from the damage caused by the sudden pressure in a line or and control the flow in a line that is very very important i have seen that there was the instrumentation system when i was like when i was in the apprentice training so i i seen that whenever like there is the instrumentation guy came in a your cabin and say that i have to go for the flushing flushing of the instrumentation system and they do the flushing of that their instrumentation system or you can say that your the control there is the control wall and the control wall loop okay in the control wall loop there we use the simply your their needle wall okay and what we always do we simply flush out the or we check our needle walls that whether it is choke or not okay because that time there we were handling the viscous fluid or the molten urea so what happens that that time we always check that whether our needle wall is working accurately or not whether it is choked or not so why we were doing that because we want to protect our system or our instrumentation system from the damage as well as from the accuracy right that time okay that's why we have used there the needle wall now it is used in flow measuring application for a fine flow services where we maintain calibration constant and low flow rate for a time being okay that time also let's suppose if you want to calibrate the system let's suppose in a instrumentation let's suppose the control wall okay in the control wall also there is the some important parts as well like afr you use air flow regulator you use and transducer you use okay that time also in like to calibrate that complete system there we use the needle wall okay so that's calibration time we also use the needle wall it is also used sometimes for the bleed wall in a heated water system what is the meaning of the bleed wall simply you want to extract the fluid it may be gas it's it may be liquid it may be your okay it may be vapors so that time what we do we use the bleed wall okay sometimes it is also used as a bleed wall what is the meaning of bleed wall simply let's suppose this is your one like uh, the arrangement okay and let's suppose this is your one wall so this wall is your bleed wall are you getting my point what i want to say needle wall is also used as a bleed wall as well now it is especially used for measuring the flow of a liquid or fluid in a air gaseous application okay that could be used because we want the accuracy and in the last it is used in when precise control of a gas flow required at a low pressure because the whenever like let's suppose in the instrumentation system we use the precise control if the precise control will not be there so maybe your reading could be not the accurate okay or your instrumentation system could be damaged so the precise control is definitely important there right now let's talk about the advantages of the needle wall so the first advantage of the needle wall is that it is compact in design and simple to use very very simple to use okay because in there is nothing to handle it or to operate it right easy installation because in the size needle walls are a very small so you can simply install it in this wall we can achieve flow rate with high accuracy during operation because if you will see in this wall there is the needle okay so simply the accuracy will be very high because you are dealing with the needle and the flow passage is very low okay and we use it for the small system so the, your accuracy is high here right during the operation needle wall is small in sizes but controlling the flow is very good i have already told you that it comes in a smaller size okay 
mainly it is used in the instrumentation system so simply your controlling will be good that's why we are using this needle wall in a instrumentation system for the calibration purpose or for the other purpose it is good to use where continuous throttling is required for the flow regulation for example instrumentation system now you will see like you will say sir why you are again and again telling me that it is used for the instrumentation system it is used for the instrumentation system you are only giving the explanation about the instrumentation system because 80 percent i have seen or the needle wall only in an instrumentation system other apart from the instrumentation system also i have seen this wall in the oil system as well but most of the time i have seen this needle wall in a instrumentation system that's why i am saying that right now let's come to the disadvantages of the needle wall that is also very very important to discuss the first disadvantage of the needle wall is that it has a high pressure drop due to obstruction in a passing flow see here let's suppose your wall is open only 20 percent or 40 percent so what will happen that it will just open here till here so what will happen that your fluid will go like that so what will happen that as your fluid is like changing its direction three times so simply as the glow wall in the case of the glow wall your pressure drop will be high and another is that the needle wall is working in low flow rate in line only yes it is only used where the low flow rate is you know line that's why i said that you know instrumentation line okay or mainly it is used only like in a 15 mm or 25 mm line okay there only we use the needle wall you cannot use the needle wall in the 100 mm line which i haven't seen maybe you have like seen that okay if you have seen please let me in the comments box now its internal parts such as the needle and seat can be damaged during solid substance yes because you will see that there is the needle you are using okay let's suppose if in a like flowing fluid there is the solid parts and very hard solid is there so it could damage your needle and when the needle will damage simply the flow regulation will be not good that's why this is the disadvantage of the needle wall and the flow the wall handle position cannot be described whether it is in open condition or flow in a closed condition so whenever you see needle wall in a field so you cannot tell that whether this wall is in open condition or closed condition but in the case of the let's suppose your plug wall your gate wall glove wall you can tell that are you getting my point can you let me in the comments box how will you tell that your gate wall is open or closed in a industry by physically okay please let me in the comments box how will you tell that in the last if i talk about it it cannot be used where quick opening or close action required it could be damaged wall internal parts whenever we use the needle wall we use very precisely we use by slowly whenever we open or close it we always we try to open or close it very slowly because it could damage the internal parts of the wall it could also damage the other parts as well okay so whenever you operate the needle wall operate it very carefully very slowly because it is let's suppose if it is attached with the instrumentation part so it could also like damage your instrumentation parts as well right so i hope that you like find something interesting in this video if you learn something interesting from this video please like this video subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon and if you have any doubt in this video or if there is any suggestion from your side please let me in the comments box okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning